So with the weather, um, student meteorologist Sarah Simpson, first off, I would like to uh, wish uh, Taylor Sack a quick recovery. He was hurt in a skiing accident uh, this weekend, so we certainly wish a uh, speedy recovery to him. And just a reminder to everyone to be careful out on the slopes. Take a look at the current temperature in Mills. We have a current temperature of 34.7 degrees. The dew point is at 33. The winds north, northwest. Uh, at 2.5 miles an hour and the barometer is at 30.06 inches this morning. This morning's background is the uh, Green Mountains of Vermont from Linden State College. Taking a look at the snow that fell over this weekend, we had rate about 3.3 inches in Millis, but you notice these higher uh, mounts out towards the uh, north and west. That was where most of the snow was. But you notice how we have 10 Worcester, and then once you go south, 4.8. And you notice these differences between the two, between these towns up, especially uh, up here towards the uh, border. Well, that was because of the winds at the upper levels of the atmosphere. That's what really determines the banding, and that's why we saw uh, a few towns with seven inches, and the next town over, only a, in a few miles down the road, only 3.2 inches. It was because of that intense banding that occurred due to the winds at the upper levels of the atmosphere. Taking a look at the current temperatures across the nation, Boston, we are in the mid 30s this morning. Washington, D.C. is in the upper 30s. In the warm spot is Miami. They are in the 70s this morning. Taking a look at the temperatures closer to Boston, Cape and the Islands, they are in the mid, uh, four, lower to mid 40s, this, low, sorry, lower 40s this morning. Boston, we are in the mid 30s, and then Western Mass, they are in the lower 30s this morning. These are my projectile temperatures for today. I think in Boston, we make it to uh, 38 degrees, 40 in Taunton, New Bedford 39, the Vineyard 37, Chatham 36. But once you get out towards Westfield, they could hit 42 today, and then North Adams should only hit about uh, 33. Fitchburg should hit 37, and then Beverly up on the North Shore should hit 39 degrees for today. Take a look at the current surface analysis. The big troublemaker on this map is a slow pressure system that is affecting parts of Oklahoma. Also portions of, uh, it was affecting portions of the foothills, uh, portions of uh, Kansas. That is a really troublemaker. It has dumped a lot of snow uh, across that area. Uh, reports of uh, even up to two feet in the foothills. Uh, and then that storm will making its way on up to Michigan, and I will explain what it does after that and a little later. And this is the surface analysis closer in our area. Area on those clouds, they are starting to break. We also do have some clouds to the west, so we will have a mix of sun clouds for today. A spot shower out towards uh, northwestern New York, but that's really going to dry up, not really going to affect us. And then that's, 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 this is that storm that was out affecting portions of Oklahoma. This is going to be for Wednesday, roughly uh, early morning hours, roughly 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Wednesday. I think our area is going to be mainly rain. We could see a pocket of heavier rain out towards the eastern Catskills, extending east towards Connecticut and, expect, and um, affecting a large portion of Connecticut, the heavier pocket of rain. But in terms of the snow, well, western New York gets it, portions of western New York, portions of uh, northern Vermont. I think uh, Caledonia County is included in that. I think uh, Lindenville and St. John's, where you could see some snow from this. And this is what happens next. That low pressure system, it transfers, it, it transfers its energy to a low pressure system off the coast. Now from here, this is where the forecast gets a little bit tricky. This is one scenario. It forms off the Delmarva Peninsula grazes the Cape and the Islands or moves just south of the Cape and the Islands and then moves out to sea. That's one scenario for uh, late Thursday into Friday. This is another scenario where it forms off the Delmarva Peninsula, cuts right up into our area, and then it could even stall off the uh, coast of New Hampshire. That, this is the least likely scenario at that point. The scenario I showed you earlier, that is more likely at this point. But anything can still happen. This is the uh, place that have the greatest uh, chance for snowfall accumulation. I think Millis, we're just far or too far north for having the greatest chance for snow, but we still do have a chance for snow come uh, late Thursday into Friday. I think the best chance right now, Taunton, Plymouth, that area, this area in south central Massachusetts. And then once you work your way west of really Millis, that's when the chances decrease for snow, and then also when it's out towards the Cape Cod Canal, that's where your chances decrease for snow as well. Now, this is what one of the models is showing. One of the models is showing three to four inches of snow. That's the heaviest that they're showing at this point, and that's uh, portions of uh, Carver, Plymouth, uh, Kingston, Duxbury, uh, Hanson, that area, three to four inches of snow. Again, still have to watch it, still a few days away. 
but I will keep an eye on that. And this is the MHS from Three Weather 7 day forecast. For Monday, I'm looking at a mix of sun and clouds, high temperature of 39 for Tuesday, mix of sun and clouds as well, high temperature of 39. Then come Wednesday, we have that rain, high temperature of 38. For Thursday, I'm watching that snow uh, late day, high temperature of 33. I'm also watching that snow for Friday, high temperature of 33 as well. And then as we work our way into uh, Saturday and Sunday, that will be, they, both days will be uh, 35. Now, the reason I have these snow icons up here is just in case we get to that scenario where that low pressure system stalls off the uh, New Hampshire coast. Again, that's the least likely scenario, but it is still a possibility, still several days away. Thanks for joining us. I'm um, Tyler Simpson. Remember, you can always find the latest weather information on the Facebook page, Tyler Simpson-MHS under the weather.